Hello everyone, in this video we are going to look how to download Rapid Miner into our system. So basically, before we look into what is Rapid Miner, we have to understand what are no code development platforms. So basically, Python and R are the most popular programming languages for data mining at the moment. But if you are short on time or not really familiar with Python, you can utilize the no code development platform. A no-code development platform enables us to perform the data mining task with drag and drop. It also enables us to develop data mining projects quickly without coding. Developers and non-developers can use these tools to practice rapid data mining development with customized workflows and functionality. So that is why Rapid Miner is such an example. Rapid Miner is a comprehensive data science platform with visual workflow design and full automation. It means that we don't have to do the coding for data mining task. Rapid Miner is one of the most popular data science tool. There is a graphical interface of the black blank process in Rapid Miner. It has the repository that holds our dataset, so we can even import our own datasets. It also offers many public datasets that we can track. We can perform. We can also work with a database connection. So before we jump into uh, detail about the Rapid Miner, let's see how to download it. So we just have to go to the Rapid Miner window. So Rapid Miner uh, website. So we'll just type Rapid Miner download. So it will give us the first link. So we have to click Rapid Miner uh, in Studio. So in this website, it says downloading the Rapid Miner. You have to go to this Rapid Miner website. So you can just go here. So for before downloading, you have to create an account. I've already created an account, so I do not want to log in. But the first step is to create your account. So after creating account, so I'll just create account. The there will be a window like this. Now you have to go to this download section. So when you click the download section, it gives you this sort of interface. So you have to choose 64 windows because we are using 64 bit windows. So I'll click here. If you have Linux or Mac, you can choose it accordingly. So I'm just clicking windows. Now you can see our downloading process has begun. Now let's just wait till the downloading has finished. Now you can see our download has finished and this is the installer window. So you have to just click the install. Double click on the application install window. Now this setup has setup window has appeared now you have to click just next now for this license agreement you have to click i agree and now it is extracting all the modules if you want to see what all modules it has it's, it is extracting you can click on the show details so you, here you can see these are the uh, modules or files it is extracting along with the rapid minus studio So let me just wait till this download process gets finished. Now you can see the downloading, the our rapid miner has been installed. Now we have to just click finish. And now the rapid miner will launch. Okay, now first it is asking for access. So we have to click allow access because there might be some files which is being blocked by our windows defender so we need to allow it so i'll just click allow access okay now it's asked for the license agreement so you have to click i have read all instructions and then you have to click i accept now i think it will launch okay so before we enter it will go have the first thing you need to know that without logging in you are not able to work on it so you have to first log, first log in with your credentials. So let me just first type my credentials and get logged in. Now you can see I have logged in. So it is saying your account and license look good. So now it's time to start using Rapid Miner. So we have to just type I'm ready. Now this is the interface that you can see. On the left hand side, you can see the basically description about how to use it. So it is just a explanatory guide. So you can just follow and read the sentences if you want which will tell you that uh, from where or where you can access what all things you want to access and how you can access. Just click next and in this tutorial. Okay, 
let us say continue current process now in the left left hand side you can see the repository where all the data sets can be loaded you can even import data set by clicking on this import data icon there are also sample of data which is available in the samples you can even establish a database connection if you want and if i click on data let me just select a data set so let me just take a data set i'll take a titanic data set so what you have to do just click on it and drop over here so this is the data set that uh, i have taken and if you want to see the data set you have to just click on this and here you can see the process show operator info you can just go on to the description it will tell you about the description of the data set overview in order to see the overview what you have to do is just click click on this output and you have uh, output of this uh, titanic data set and you have to connect it with this output now you have to click on this run section the upper blue arrow that you can see you have to just click it now you can see this is basically you can see the data set right this is the data set you're working with now let us just have a some function applied on this data set now what i'll do i'll apply the, i'll apply a decision tree algorithm on this data set and before we jump into the decision tree you have to see this these are the four tabs you can see the design phase is that where we can design our model the results are basically the outputs that has been generated as you can see this is the line i have connected with the output so the result has been generated as this there is also turbo prep so you can see that uh, you are, you can work with your data sets so you can also automate the process by going to the auto model tab so now let's see so i'll just delete this now i'll have uh, the decision tree and if you want to apply some functions that functions like i want to apply decision tree on this data set so that will be available in this operator section so here you can just search for decision okay now you can see the decision tree here now you have to just click it drag and drop it here now the beautiful part is like you have to connect this output with the input of the decision tree now you have to connect this mod value with the result value now in order to execute it you have to click this blue button there are the parameters you want to see the parameters it will come into the right hand side you can see the parameters that the mini minimal gain value and you can even or you can manually enter the data you want so if you want the minimal leaf size to be 2 if you want the confidence level should be something other so you can just manually type it here i'll just, i just want to keep it uh, Uh, as it is, and in, in this unit we are having the maximum depth of the tree. So here I just it is by default it is given as ten. And other than they are also having some advanced parameters, so you can go over it and just see over it. So now let's just execute the task. And in order to execute the task, you have to just click this blue arrow, a uh, blue blue arrow part, and it's saying the input does not have a label attribute. Okay, so I'll so for that what I'll do I'll have to have another operator that is. uh if you can see what uh, it also the best part about rapid mining is also suggests you what you can have it so it's saying that uh, if i just click on the more info it is saying that set roll operator so i'll just use set roll operator i'll introduce set roll operator here now i have to delete this connect it over this training data set extract data set and in the set roll operator i have to first have a target label so let's have passenger class as our label So in the target role, we can just have label apply. Click got it. Now when I run this again, and now you can see. So basically, if I press Control Shift, zoom out, you can see this is the decision tree that has been generated on the data set. So basically, this is how you can perform any function on the Rapid Miner. So this is much about it, and hope you would have enjoyed the video. And if you have any doubts, you can just type it over in the comments. Thank you.